Hi. Um, oh. This week we are talking about childhood memories, and I have quite a few favorite childhood memories. I've actually made two videos about my childhood memories, and if you want to, I will leave links down in the description about those YouTube videos. You can go check them out. They're a hoot and a holler. But I have actually selected two of my favorite childhood memories. I was unable to narrow it down to one because I was a ridiculous child. Please excuse the insane mess behind me. It's Friday. So my first favorite childhood memory is probably that when I started school in fifth grade, which was my first year of school, I tricked everyone into thinking that my older brother's name was Ashley. Now the reason I was able to do this is because my brother started school in eighth grade and I started school in fifth grade and we both attended the same school and therefore nobody we knew went to the school and it was pretty easy to trick everyone. So I convinced everyone in my grade and a few people in his grade that my brother was actually called Ashley when he was born because my mother really 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 wanted a girl and was pretty disappointed when she had Ethan. Then my mom found out and she told me that that was pretty mean and I actually had to tell everyone that my brother's name was actually Ethan even though some of my friends still called him Ashley I think for the rest of the year. While she was having this talk with me she actually told me that she thought that what I had done was really funny. Now why I think this is such an important childhood memory is because beforehand I was very 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 not funny. You might find this very hard to believe because come on I'm pretty much one of the funniest people there is in the world? I mean, look at this. It's hilarious. I wasn't actually funny until around seventh grade, but that was my first attempt at actually being hilarious. I think it worked out pretty well. My second childhood memory is actually me being a delinquent. This is important to me because I follow so many rules and I like rules and I really, really, really don't like to break rules. I follow rules. I'm a rule follower. So there used to be a law in California that if you were coming from any other state you had to go through a customs to go to California if you were driving through and you were not allowed to bring any fruit or vegetables or other kinds of things into the state because it would just it could potentially destroy all of the crops in the state and that would be very very bad for the rest of the country and so me and my family were on a road trip to California and we had a bag of cherries and we had not eaten enough of the cherries we had still about half of the bag of cherries left and my mother passed me the bag and she said Nora eat all the cherries you want now because you're not going to have any more we have to throw them away once we get to the state border. But I was very, very clever. I figured out that they wouldn't know if I had brought cherries beyond the state border if I hid them. So I did the very, very clever thing of taking a handful and another handful and putting them underneath my skirt. I hid those cherries because I thought my mom wanted them. We get across the border and I say, Mom, do you want a cherry? She kind of laughs and she says, sure, because she thought I only hid one or two for me and her. Then I hand her like a huge handful and the entire car just bursts out laughing because I had broken a actual state law. What we have learned from this is that I used to not be funny at all and I was also very good at lying, and I have broken, I was a juvenile delinquent at the young age of eight. It's Friday, have a good weekend, we will see Daisy on Monday. Bye!